you don't need to be that stubborn. The funniest thing was when Tottenham had a counter-attack. And I was like, Lord in heaven. <laughs> Dude is useless. Use. Um, I think you know the drill. It's gonna be a slightly different um post-match analysis. So uh you know for advice, I do advise that you uh, you know get a meal, big meal, you know, warm it up <laughs> and then you just chill because we're gonna go on the on the on the edge on here, we're gonna be truthful, we're gonna be be, be, be truthful, you know. But why can't guys understand? That you don't need to lend a hand to the almighty one they call Zad. That's all I'm trying to say. All right. I'm not trying to pray. Have a nice day. Come what may. We shall not be led astray. Look, man. Those are just like a, a, a few little bars I just wanted to, 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 to put to the side there. Um, there are a lot of things to capture in this post-match analysis. That is why I have brought myself some chin-chin. A Nigerian delicacy. If you have a Nigerian friend, tell them about Chinchin, one of the best things out there. Because, um, I'm going to say a few things, you know, so, um, but I'm, 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 going, I'm going to build up. I'm going to leave Zad to the last bit, you know, because I want to just build up to um, get to Zad and then I'll talk a little bit because, you know what, I'm a humble man. You know, last I checked, I checked the data. It said, you know what, Hapo is the most humble guy in the world, you know, so I'm free guys. It's 2019 baby. It's 2019. I'm just trying to live. That's it. Guys, it's as simple as that. I'm just trying to live. So First off, I want to actually, I want to actually touch on Tottenham. Um, Lord in heaven These guys are suffering um, They are right down to their bare flipping bones right down to their bare flipping bones and when i just saw seeing them play and seeing how they were trying to just make the best out of the little, little they had my heart went out to them because it's almost like you've got a kid on crutches in the playground and he's just been hit and hit and hit and the kid on crutches is still trying to do something because this kid on crutches used to be like really really strong before but he's on crutches right now and it just seemed just get beat up in, in the playground it was hard to look at so it is a great testament to the mental strength of this team that they showed against Fulham that they managed to push this to penalties because they had no business surviving and how they even got that G I have no idea and what we're gonna get to Fulham under your range sorry guys I got my list right here you know so I want to make sure that this is very well organized so I don't really miss anything you know I don't want to miss so I don't miss nothing yo you know I don't want to say anything because you know I want to just take you guys on a journey because these post-match analysis they're not like the other ones out there because I love all the fan channels out there. All the fan channels out there they are bloody amazing and kudos to them. I'm not better than them. They're they're, they're better than me. But mine is just different because I I take you on a journey. I tell a story because I I bring the whole film thing into so I look at the bigger picture. I look at things from the fucking better side side view. Um. So I think no. I would. I I definitely want to just to. Because we'll, we'll get through that, but the Tottenham thing is... So when Levy looks at that, the team that is that depleted, you're in a st situation where, based off... It happens. <laughs> this is football. This is like it happens. Based off injuries, which do happen, that's a team that... That is the best team Pochettino could have put out for a semi-final. Lucas Moura is only coming back from an injury. Obviously, Wanyama wasn't fit enough to, to play. So that was the best team that he could put out to start... So when Levy looks at that, I don't know what's going through your mind. Is it now here? I do you know? I do, I do you know how sick Levy is? Do you know how sick Levy is? Levy's like, my God, wow, you did really well. You got to penalties. Oh, damn it! If only Locke was was on our side, we would have won. We don't need to spend. You guys are still being competitive, and that's all that matters. Now, how about that stadium, yeah? And now, how about us keeping in the green? Levy's a sick man. He's a sick, sick man, and he's holding back. There's a team, but look, man, it, it is what it is. 
the Giroux effect. Sorry, you don't need to be stubborn. You don't need to be stubborn. And I think <laughs> what it showed by you starting Giroud, we're going to get to Emerson and Alonso, but let me stop with Giroud, is don't fight it and you don't need to be too stubborn. We, we raise the pinky up, you know, with those whole things, you have to raise the pinky up. That, those are for classy people. We put the pinky up. You don't need to be that stubborn when the obvious thing is right there of how you should play. You don't need to overthink. Giroud, because I think I was having a dis discussion about this with someone, I think, in a in a bar or, or somewhere or, or at a pub. We're in 2019 right now. This isn't 1996 or 1997 where a striker is solely fully judged by the goals that, that he, he scores. The game has evolved and you need to be very malleable and very tangible as well. Giroud not scoring, that's not an issue. That's not an issue. The key thing is Giroud makes your best player better. So if your dude makes your best player better, that's all that matters. Case in points. Who won the Champions League three times in a row? And the team that won the Champions League three times in a row have a brick as their striker. What was the function of that brick? To be a foil for Cristiano. So it's all about getting guys who serve a funk. That's all it's about. Just get dudes that serve a flipping function. That's all that matters. And I think when you saw Giroud operate, you know, the you know that Belgian guy that we're gonna get to, man. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna get him right, right about it, man. So he helped that Belgian guy just say what's up. See, that Belgian guy was allowed to breathe and live. That's what this thing about, is about breathing and, and living. So don't be hung up by how many goals has he scored. Be hung up about is he helping the team. Benzema didn't score, he helped the team. Jeremy may not score, he helps the team, he makes the team a lot more effective because by his presence being there and him occupying that space, that allows the other guys to occupy the other spaces where they can be far more effective and do far more damage, okay? Your boy Zad can't do damage as a false time, but your boy Zad, attacking left, put a position, he can boogie on down and say what's up. Um, Alonso can be allowed on the pitch ever again. Unless Sari is a psychopath. Unless Sari is a raving lunatic. Emerson, um, Alonso can never be allowed on the, on the pitch again. Because I think Emerson did something that I don't think I've ever seen Alonso do. Or put it this way. Alonso has, has not done this at all this season. Or what Emerson did. Emerson got to the byline and put in a cross. A pretty decent cross. Alonso hasn't done that. Alonso can't run. And it was so strange seeing... A left back who, my gosh, this guy can actually run. He can actually go up and down. There, he, there, is, there is an athleticism to him. And whether you look at Robertson, you look at Jessica Alba, um, you look at Flipping Alaba, you look at Alexandro, they are all athletic players who can run up and down. They can get right down to the byline and then they can go all the way back. Alonso, dude can't run. So, as long as Emerson is fit, he has to start. And I think... He laid down the reason why homeboy has to start. Simple as that. So, and by Emerson being there, it helps your best player, i.e. Zad. So, again, the, the, the guy the guy was full on. Um, Pedro. No, 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 no. Guys, relax. I'm on goal is coming. Pe people laugh and, and say I'm crazy. Pedro hasn't been relevant since, since 2011. It's not been relevant since 2011. He's not effective. And if your team is trying to be relevant, i.e. win trophies and do something this season, you can't have a guy who has not been relevant in eight years. Eight years is a damn long, long time. Okay? So, because with Pedro, okay, some nice flick and tricks, skills here and there, but 
there is no incision there. There is no effectiveness there. There is no shot on target there. There's no creating space there. There, there, there. there are not enough instances where he's he's beating a man and creating situations, creating space, creating havoc, create, creating opportunity, opportunities, creating problems for the opposition. It's just not happening enough because it's straight and it's sideways, it's diagonal, it's here, it's there, it's and a few step over them. So no, you, there has to be more forward movement, more in forward movement there, which he bring him, baby. So again, that's an issue. And this dude is a flipping starter, which is which is just worrying. William bless his soul. William bless his soul. Uh, William has to have some of the worst decision making I've seen in a professional football player. I cannot. I don't know any other player who plays for like a top five, top six club who has worse decision making as an attacking player as him. His decision making is horrible because there are times when William. I think that there was one instance where William. Literally dribbled straight into Alderweireld. I was like, bro, just pass the flipping ball. Because if you were Messi or you were the Oos or someone, maybe this will come off. But you're neither the Oos or Lionel Messi. So, dude, keep hold of the ball, make a simpler pass and build yourself and get yourself into the flipping game. Because obviously you're coming off the bench, so you need to get into the rhythm and into the flow of the game. So, to get into the flow of the game... Give the easy ball, give the easy ball, and just get the ball rolling. But the amount of times he lost the ball, attacks broke down, ill advised shots being taken. I say, bro, 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 bro. I told you, lovely guy, he is talented. This dude is talented, and on, on his day, this guy can do amazing things like, 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 like that goal that him, him, him scored. But too often, homeboy just goes rogue. Homeboy jo boy just goes rogue. And I just think that somebody just needs to take a hold of him and say, William, man. There is times to be an individual and try to take the game by the scruff of the neck, and the other times just to try and just merge in with the system and the flow and let the game come to you. Don't try and force the issue. Let the game come to you. Um, Ericsson, man, I want to just switch back to, to Tottenham. Ericsson was a, a one one man team. He was he was a one man team, and I felt sorry for him because Ericsson was giving the ball to Yorente. I'll get to you, Yorente, and you could just see with Ericsson because I think you know. There, when there were like many fouls being made and so forth, because I'm I, I read a lot into body language, and you just see with Ericsson's body language that I think he feels that okay, my time is up here. Real Madrid are coming sniffing and, and everything, and I think even Ericsson is like, my God in heaven, I'm in a team where our stars are missing, and this is what we have as a replacement, and he wants me as the creative man and the number ten to work with this. Lamella hardly plays. Your Rense is your Rense. Winks? I mean, I mean, I mean what? Are we like winking now to, 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 to go to sleep? So it's like because Ericsson did the best he could. I mean, my gosh. Case in point. Case in point. Superb. Probably the best pass of, of, of the game that went over the head of Jorginho down to your Yorente. If your Rense had controlled it. One on one, he probably puts 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 that ball in. Um, speaking of, let, let me bring in your your answer right now. Um, let me give him credit for the goal. I'll give him credit for for, for, for the goal. Credits where, where credit is due. Credits where credit where credit credit is due. That was a good strikers target man goal, and it was a goal that actually helped Tottenham within a chance. To get into the final by them taking it into penalty. And nobody really expected them to score with them being 2-0 two, two, down. But that goal does not negate the fact that dude is a brick. That dude is a flipping brick. He is useless. And I think that is like the only useful thing that he's done in the past two years or so. He is flipping useless. And that can't be Tottenham's main striker. And I think Pochettino, obviously he won't say it in public. But Pochettino privately is like, my God in heaven. This is my alternative. Levy, what the hell are you doing? Llorente, we are a team that's trying to go for a trophy and go for stuff. We're in a semi-final, semi-final of a cup. And my alternative after my star striker is down is Fernando Llorente. Because apart from the goal that he scored, he didn't do anything. Like, the funniest thing was when Tottenham had a counter-attack. And I was like, Lord in heaven, <laughs> dude... Is useless, useless on a counter attack because he can't run, 
he literally cannot run. He literally cannot carry the ball anyway. He can only carry, carry the ball backwards. So, um, fair enough. Congrats for, for the goal. But that ain't enough, bro. That ain't enough to, 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 to write. Um, can't say. Can't say might be one of the most versatile players in the world. Yes, yes, I said it. I said it. Okay, someone said, oh, Milner, Ashwin. Okay, good, good. Thank you. It's first time he's playing this position. Dude has been a deer. Dude has been a box to box. No, no, no. This guy is an attacking player. I think the goal that he scored, that ball went through about three or four legs. Do you realize I can't say? DM can't say. Defensive midfielder can't say. The spoiler can't say. Is the top scoring midfielder for Chelsea? I mean, when you think about it for a second, you've got to just say, pause and be like, whoa, what this guy's doing is amazing. And every time I see him, I'm like, I didn't know this guy had this ability. Because when he first started off being given a much more of a free role and a much more offensive role, I was like, nah, he looks uncomfortable. He doesn't look like, like, like if he can really fully be adept, especially, I think it was, it was the Newcastle game. It was like, nah, man, he's just not that kind of player. Man. He has to go back into DM. But the more and more I see it, I'm like, oh, this guy can play. I mean, this guy knows how to do the one touch, little flicks and passes, hold of the ball, great control the ball, great ball control kick, and carry the ball. He can work in tight, difficult situations. He can work within the cluster F that is the, the midfield. I'm like, oh, because with every game, I'm like, no, he's actually improving and getting better and much more comfortable in this attacking position. And the homeboy is scoring G's. <laughs> homeboy is scoring G's. He's scoring G's. Okay, important G's. So, um, we need to pause and just really um, give congrats to Kante because there's an argument that Kante was one of the best players on, on, on the pitch. Now the moment that you've all been waiting for. <laughs> now let's me predict or anticipate the um, the comments there or the refutes. It is the team Tottenham. They have nobody. Um, so many injuries. Uh, this is a secret shot. How can you even give him credit for doing this against such a depleted team? Double H, you're so sad. Is this what you do? He has to do it much more consistently. Blasey blay, blasey blah. Ha 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 ha. Last I checked, Alderweireld is a top tier defender, isn't, isn't he not? I believe Real Madrid and Man United were after Alderweireld, isn't he not? And I do believe that Alderweireld was playing in that match. And I also believe that Sissoko, one of Tottenham's most important players, was playing in that match. Now, Zad! <laughs> now, Zad. You know, what, you know what? Zad was like, you know what? I, I don't know if it's so. Because look, I, I spoke to Zad. After that Arsenal game, I spoke to Because I, okay, let me, let me reveal. After that Arsenal game, I, I said, Zad. Everyone is, is out to get you. Everyone is so into you. That they say that you're inconsistent. Some dude, you know, called Terry, whatever, whatever his bloody Terry Flowers or something, like that half French, half English dude from all the football fan was saying, Anna Hazard, he's inconsistent. He's not really that good. Blah, 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 blah. People were coming out for you. And I said, Zad, what do you want me to do? I'm trying to defend any babe. What do you want me to do? Zad, man, yeah, I'm, I'm coming out. Everybody's coming for me. Zad said, chill. That's what does that mean? Zad told me chill. Zad said, I'm a, I'm a, I'm doing a sign. I'm a do a little sign for uh I'm a do a little sign um in the game is against Tottenham. Do, 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 do. I said, what do you mean? What does a little something mean? I said, chill. See what Zad showed was when this dude is on it, <laughs> you cannot deny his talent. You, you just can't. You, when this dude is on it, you cannot deny his talent. I mean, every time he touched the ball, 
something positive was happening. The amount of times he got past Alderweireld, how difficult it was for Sissoko to get a hold of him, how he was able to use his body to control the ball, the passes he was making, the through balls he was making, the chances he was creating, the way he was carrying the ball, the way he was moving forward with the ball. It was an electricity, an engine, and a belief every time he had the ball. Every time he had the ball. Because that is the desire that I try to tell people about. And you cannot deny the man's talents. How long? I keep reminding people. He changed. After that World Cup semi-final against France, he metamorphosized. He changed to a different player. So you cannot deny what homeboy is coming with. If you love football, you will respect what this guy is doing in the situation. Let me repeat myself. Who does Lionel Messi have at Barcelona? Suarez? <laughs> One of the best strikers in the world. The Us? One of the best young players in the world. Who does Christian have at Juventus? Debao, the future of Argentina. Mandzukic, one of the most underrated strikers out there. And the Juventus team, a team who have won seven titles in a row and one of the best teams in Europe. And a team who are, who are in every single season, Champions League favourites. A powerhouse. Who does Neymar have? Mbappe, the prodigy, Cavani, one of the best strikers in the world. Zad is working with scraps. Sorry to break it to you. He's working with scraps. So a man working with scraps, working with bricks and semi-bricks, is putting that performance down. That's what I, that is what I call realis, realism. That you walk on that you rest. Zad, Zad. Has a striker who doesn't score goals. Zad has a dude who has not been relevant since 2011. Zad has a dude who is one of the worst decision makers in football. Zad has a midfield where Kante is the top scoring midfield and that's mid midfield. So do you see the picture I'm trying to paint? Don't taint. Or else I'll hit you with something that will make you faint. Guys, I told you, I'm, 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 I'm hitting into you with the so like a few bars, a few bars. So, people will still come with the excuses that it's only Tottenham, they're not a top tier team, they were depleted, they, 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 they didn't have their best teams, you know, they, even if they did have Alderweire, one of their best defenders, and for talking one of their best defenders, yes. Um, They'll still, still come up with excuses. I said, oh, no, no, he needs to be much more consistent. Yeah, he, 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 he needs to do this for, for, for five or, or six games. Yes, yes, yes. Um, have that. But guys, <laughs> there's a lot more season to go and I'm not done yet. You're going to have to deal with me and this. Because you will tune in. As much as you hate it. <laughs> and I know that there are some people who despise me and say, I hate half pop. I hate double H. As much as he hates me, you will tune in. Ouch. You will tune in. You will tune in. Because this is, because this is a football season and this is the home of the football analysis. So going into this right now, um, to wrap this up, for Tottenham and for Pochettino, man, wonderful efforts. Amazing efforts. Superb efforts. And they have to be allowed. But that is not enough. Pochettino should say, to hell with great efforts. This team can win something if you give me a flipping squad. I don't want to have to rely on flipping your rent here as my secondary striker. I'm, I'm tired of like, oh, we're, 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 we're doing this well. No, shut the hell up. We want to win a flipping trophy because we're going to have to win a flipping trophy. Leave you what up. For Chelsea, the play Man City. City are the favourites. City are most likely to win. I expect City to win. Can the chain be snatched one more time? That's, I, 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 I just want to just put that there. Like, look, City, they'll win. They've won it. Pep Guardiola, Blasi play, Blasi play. He's the best. Tiki Taki Taki Toki. What's it? What's it called? The the bloody um series on Amazon Prime. Yes, you're the greatest. You know, you destroyed football. Okay, cool, cool. Can 
Can you snatch the chain twice? It's a simple question, guys. Can the chain be snatched twice? Because I'm telling you right now. Look at no, 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 no. Let me not pull out that because it has come to backfire against me. So, so guys, I've learned my lesson. Okay, I've learned my lesson. Because you see, I actually, I actually you know, learn and improve things right now. So, guys, it is what it was. It was a fantastic match. A great match. Um, I think for Giroud, it may be over for homeboy with um, your boy Gonzalo coming in. But still, Giroud plays a very important role. Can't say, my gosh, man, that guy is just on, on something different. Ericsson, man. I don't know whether Ericsson will stay at Tottenham, man, because Ericsson said this is, this is, this is an effed up situation that we have right here. There's an effed up situation that we have right here where I'm having to work with dudes like this, where my flipping chairman is not appreciating my talents to try and invest in getting secondary and tertiary players who are still up to equality. The drop down in quality from our star players is too much of a drop down in quality. And last, and um, so hopefully Sari has learned. Um, very good penalty by no no great penalty by George Jr. Jr. By the way, very good penalty and damn good penalty by David Luiz. Um, and lastly, Zad, Messi is the king. He's tier one. He's at the top of the tree. Messi is the king. He's the best. He's number one. Of Messi. Messi, 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 Messi. I just wonder, guys, relax. Don't type yet, okay? Relax. The video is almost finished, and then you can type. Just, 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 just keep eating your, your, your damn food. I just ask if Messi was in this Chelsea team with William and Pedro, how well would he do? Because we all know how well Messi did with that Argentina team. And everybody was saying everybody in that Argentina team were bricks. Mm. Thanks for watching the video. Now think about becoming a football hot patron by pledging an amount each month and then gain access to exclusive content only on the football hot patron page. Peace. Head over to the official sites at halfoffootballhot.com or just click over here.